can't wait and you think, oh, this is the best thing since sliced bread, this is beautiful. Um, I do not believe that. So you load into Valdraken and it says, the area ahead is dangerous, turn back. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Okay, excellent. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, it's Gyro here. Quick check-in with you, my friends, as I am invited into Dragonflight Beta. And if you were paying attention, I told my audience on my channel, kind of with a little post, that I am facing a dilemma. Should I play Dragonflight Beta right now on the verge of pre-patch and on the verge of the actual game launch, the expansion launch, or should I hold off? Well, as you can see, I have already logged in and created a highly, highly uh, inventive uh, named character called Gyro Test, and just kind of to take a very, very quick look to sniff about, so to speak. But uh, fortunately for me, my dilemma has been resolved naturally by itself by Blizzard. Blizzard to the rescue. Um, while they invite you into beta and while they give you a chance to create a new character, at least at the moment of recording of this video in whatever the beta build I was kind of invited into and stepped into very quickly, when I created this highly inventively named character, Drakthea, which we will talk about uh, just very, very shortly, what I think about Drakthea in general, yeah, uh, that's part of this video, um, they load you not into some e exciting new lands, they load you into Ogrima. And when you try and use your Hearthstone to go to Valdraken, and when you basically want to use your Hearthstone and go to Valdraken to take a look out of curiosity at the new lands and see what's up, right? That is sort of by default what you probably would do. Just take a look at this. I will show you in real time how this problem resolves itself. Beautiful loading screen. Can't wait to see it in the in the game. Yeah, for all of you, kind of little preview for all of you who are not in beta or who have self-restraint better than I do. So you load into Valdraken and it says, the area ahead is dangerous, turn back. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Okay, excellent. So this is kind of this is face on, my friends, how that problem resolved itself for me. I load again into good old Ogrima. There are no quests available, really, other than that little exclamation mark over there. But chances are this is one of the old quests. I can't even be bothered. So all I have to kind of enjoy, really, without finding some inventive way of finding something really, really, truly new to talk to you about, is creation process of this, uh, of this character which I've done, I went through it. Look, I, I can comment on that, and I will comment on that since you clicked on this video and I want to make it worth your while. Uh, sh in short, I was never one of those people who played the game and spent hours and hours, like game within a game, basically, how some people do it, where I would have like spent hours creating the character and making sure that my, my eyes color and, um, you know, snout and everything else is perfectly like as I would see it fit as I would like I don't even know why people bother with that kind of stuff unless your character looks repulsive in some way which this is far from from the truth in this particular case I do not think that that is uh, time well spent essentially whether it's a Drakthea whether it's a Worgen whether it's a Draenei I don't care I really don't care I don't judge by the way I never do um, those people who create this mini game, game within a game, and they do love spending time customizing their characters within an inch of their lives. Fine, fine, good on you, uh, guys and girls. But I'm just not that kind of person. So for me, that creation process of this little test character uh, was kind of a bit of a meh and a bit of a nothing. Like, I don't care. I really don't care about it. So here in beta, instead of just doing what these people do and just stand around Ogrima and like fly around on those hovering around on those mounts, I think that's the most boring thing to do ever. There are things to do in retail WoW right now, like preparing, leveling your alts, preparing your characters for the actual launch of Dragonflight and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that is why, my friends, I'm not going to be sticking around in beta, even though on record I would like to thank Blizzard for inviting me into it, even though I was in the last possible wave, so I don't feel particularly special, in case you're wondering if I was feeling particularly special, I wasn't. Now, on to the next topic, probably the only thing that I can comment in a slightly more educated way about, in terms of how Drakthea looks. E, are they actually very different from what we saw in the promotional material uh, shared already for a few weeks, months uh, ago, where we saw them on different pictures from different angles, all these cast animations, all that kind of stuff? Well, I guess we could play with that, and I guess we could do some of that kind of stuff ourselves and see exactly what they what they look like. I do not have a target. 
I do not have a target apparently if we trust me uh, in this particular case um, look I think they are okay I think they are okay Drakthea and I think that if you're starved for new content for new skeletons for new animations for new models I think that you probably will be pleased with Drakthea and it does create a bit of a sense of novelty you create a new character it always, me as a veteran of World of Warcraft, I have always enjoyed this moment of rolling new characters and loving new races when the new race was very, very randomly and very rarely introduced. Like last time we got a new race, not counting Drakthea. I don't even know, what was it? Was it Pandaria? Was it Pandas? I'm not talking allied races. I'm not talking the colored coloring uh, game that Blizzard was playing with us for far too long. So, for me, Drakthea is probably the only new new race ever since i guess worgen were introduced correct me if i'm wrong um and just like with worgen mechanics you can uh, you can absolutely also switch between the two visages you can look as a you can look as a dragon and you can look as a weird dude with horns okay kind of like a blood elf that lost its lost his way uh type of thing well, I guess there were also Void Elves, I forgot about Void Elves, but they were so kind of nothing that, no offense to Void, void Elves, that, you know. Anyway, uh, what do I think? I think meh. <laughs> I think meh, honestly. I, and I'm not trying to downplay it, I look forward to Dragonflight, I look forward to seeing what's actually genuinely new in the game, new quest lines, all of that stuff. I even look forward to leveling a Drakthea, possibly, and just like seeing all the intro experience and... Uh, how this bar is going to fill up with, I suppose, new um, different abilities and other kind of stuff as it fills up. But at the moment when I log in here, I have this whole bunch of these activities that I kind of have not nothing to test them on even, you know. Uh, I guess I could find some, uh, some I don't know, test uh, dummies and just do what billion of other people right now do on YouTube and privately and they just kind of try to test the DPS rotations and all that kind of stuff. But honestly, I think the game, the real game, the real release is so close now that it makes absolutely no sense to, to play uh, right now in beta. And finally, what I'm going to say to you guys and girls... Um, so what is good about this the good about about this opportunity that i'm given right now to log into beta even if i spend only like 20 minutes here or whatever i think that um it kind of lets you get a sense of what you'd be investing your time into if you otherwise are sitting there and just like rubbing your hands and thinking oh i can't wait until i get my my hands on my new brand new baby draxia well I've just taken a look at this grown-up Drakthea, and this is what I look for. This is what I'm supposed to uh, see as this flag on a hill, so to speak. This is what I'm supposed to look forward to as far as leveling, and that is what I get at the end of the game. Well, if that is the target, if that is the flag on a hill, then color me not excited. And I make no apologies for it, everyone is different, tell me in the comments down below if you like can't wait and you think, oh, this is the best thing since sliced bread, this is beautiful. Um, I do not believe that, personally. But appearances are subjective, just like transmog, just like colors, just like everything else. I look at this drag here, I look at this run, yeah? They are too skinny for my liking. They run like they have some mobility issues, and again, I don't judge, I just to call it for what it is and what it appears to be to me. They don't look like a cool race, oh yeah, awesome, how awesome it is to be a big fat uh, dragonkin kind of thing. Nah, not for me anyway. It just looks weird. These Drakthea hands are moving weirdly as it runs, the legs are, run are really weird, it kind of just like makes this almost as if as if almost as if it's prancing in a way you know what i mean like i don't even know what to call this step what do you call it tell me in the comments down below what do you call this step but if it had four legs then it would look like some horses prance kind of like pew, 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 pew. you know what i'm saying uh, this i don't want to look like this in the end game i don't judge you if you do tell me if you do and tell me why like, do you actually, am I, am I just overreacting? Do you genuinely think it's awesome? I look at it and I'm like, Ugh. Nah. <laughs> I swear, that's how I feel. 
It's kind of like this underdeveloped dragon. Take a look at a normal dragon over here. And take a look at me next to it. I'm like a poor cousin who just underdeveloped from an egg or something. And no, I don't know what their true story is. Maybe they are underdeveloped uh, Drakthea who chose a different uh, path of development versus the normal drakes and normal dragons. Whatever. Surely that will be explained in a dragon-based expansion. So, these are my thoughts. Look, I, I'm, I, didn't, I didn't log on today to record this quick ranty video to poo-poo on all this kind of stuff. I just came to check in with my audience because I know that there is not all that much content that I'd like to pump out right now. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the pre-patch at least to continue talking to you and to people who are casuals and beginners of World of Warcraft, whatever, if there are such people at all. But certainly there are heaps of returning people, returning players who I want to reconnect with and, you know and basically reignite this community a tiny bit. Uh, these are my thoughts. Let me know yours. Are you excited about Dragonflight and specifically Drakthea? Do you like them? I don't. I don't, and I make no apologies for it, but neither do I judge you if you do, but I'd love to hear from you as to why. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to log off this beta. I feel like I've done my part. I've checked in with my community and told you what I feel about beta. This beta is not beta. You just make a drag here, log in, and hang out here around Ogrima. It's boring as hell. It honestly is boring. And then I will wait for the pre-patch, and in the meantime, I'm going to level my alts and enjoy myself in the game otherwise. Thanks again for tuning in. Today, this is Gyro. I will be speaking um, to you again about something else World of Warcraft related. At the very least, as soon as we hear something about the release date of the patch, pre-patch, which, uh, by every kind of stretch of imagination and currently based on the leak, we're still expecting to be around 25th of this month of October. Hopefully they don't change these dates. And I look forward to speaking with you then soon. Bye for now.